The breaking news. I got some breaking news for you. Yeah. UFC signs a 17-year-old to the roster. What do you think about that? Man, you know, so coincidentally, like, I'm, I'm familiar with the kid. Um, I know his sister, uh, Kenya. His sister fought um, on a regional show for, for Legacy. I obviously her, I saw her as an amateur come up. Um, I remember, I, you know, she, she fought a friend of mine. Like her, I think it was, like, her last amateur fight. And she was kind of just getting beat up the whole fight. And then she threw, like, a Hail Mary, like, head kick, like, with one second left and knocked her out. I was crazy. Um, and then she made her pro debut out of all people against Mackenzie Dern mm. um, for, for Ella. I think it was Legacy at the time. Um, so, you know, the, the, the kid comes from, like, a, a, a fighting family, you know. Um, the, the, like, sister fights. I think he has, like, an older brother who fights. Um, I think the dad is the coach. Uh, and so when you hear his story, knowing that this kid's been essentially training since he was four years old, uh, so 13 years, but, you know, um, he, he's he's one of those talents that has been, you know, ready for this. Um, but then, you know, you actually have to show up, right? And so that was the question of, like, well, this kid who's been beating up other kids, you know, will he show up against a, an adult? And he showed up. You know, I, I watched the fight, and I was really impressed. Um, with, with Rosa, um, he, the, the, I think the the one part or an aspect of the fight that people thought he was gonna gonna have a de- gonna be detriment to uh, would be to the strength, right? And he showed that wasn't an issue. The way that he controlled, I even I put a little clip on my Instagram. Was like, yo, dude is really like he, he thought he was gonna come out here and whoop this little kid's ass, and this kid is owning him, you know. So yeah. it was nice to see. Yeah, yeah. If you know the story, you know, if you've because I've heard about him from uh-huh. coaches, you know, in Vegas before he even was signed to fight at Contender Series, like him and his brother, they're out there wrestling, they're out there training with, the, you know, the pros and doing yeah. really well. Um, it's it's good to see that. But now he's signed to the UFC. Does anybody really want to fight a teenager on the biggest stage, though? Like, that's a that's a risk. Yeah, you do. I, you know, yes, yeah, a risk, but I'm going to say, and I'm going to say yes. And here's why, man, even for, for me, right. Like people will say, well, hmm, not actually, as I was talking, maybe inside all fighters already signed, won't want to fight him. Mm-hmm. Fighters on the outside looking in a hundred percent, which is weird to me. Right. So I'll take me for and, I, and I'll come back to it. So I'll take me. Right. You have all these people say that I suck. Oh, you suck. You can't fight. Whatever, right? But then they be like, yo, I want to fight him to get into the UFC. And you're just like, wait, that doesn't even make sense. Because if I suck, why would you want to fight me? Because what comes after me? Like some crazy killers, right? Like if you're if you're talking about, you know, being the best, being champion, and and, and that's what I'm when I'm talking to these fighters outside of the cage, you know, that's what the, everybody's talking about, except me. Like, I'm probably the only guy who's like, ah, I'm just here, you know, for the shits and giggles, right? I'm just here to fight. But everybody else is here to be, like, the best. So when you when I think of it from that perspective where I want to be the best, like, you don't want to fight the, the, the worst guy on the roster, right? Like, even this kid. He's talking about, yo, I'm, I want to be champion in two years. Mm-hmm. I want to fight top t- whether he's ready or not, right? Mm-hmm. That's what he's, that's where he's trying to reach and achieve. And people are like, yeah, I want to fight Mike Jackson because he sucks. <laughs> what? Um, but to the point, people on the outside, yeah, they're going to be, because they're going to see what he did. And they be like, ah, oh, like he got holes in this game. And uh, I can do, I can be better than him. I, they, people feel entitled. And privilege, right? Like, ah, I, I should be there. He's taking my spot. Why? Nah, he's he's just he's doing his own thing. It's not a competition in that aspect. It's a competition once you fight. But as far as like a spot on the roster, like, no, like you're not. Ta- no one is taking anybody's spot on a roster, right? So the people on the outside who's talking about, oh, I want to be in the UFC. You shouldn't want to be want to fight guys like me or or, or uh, is it Raul or Joel? I think it's Raul, right? Yeah, Raul. Yeah. So you shouldn't want to fight like you should just get the fighter. They like, hey, you fight Mike Jackson. Or, hey, you fight Raul. And they like, all right. 
Like that, that's how it should be, right? You should be like, yo, I want to fight these people. Because if you say we not what we are, then why would you want that? But to the 17 year old thing, I think it's going to be a lot of people who, who are going to call this kid out, right? And they have no, the guy last night, I, he didn't call him out, you know, but the way he was talking about the fight, and I know you got to hype the fight up and this and that, but he should have left it about the fight. He was talking about, oh, he's a kid. I can't let a kid do this, that. And that kid did everything that you said you wasn't going to let him do. Yeah. And now yeah. look at you, right? If you would have just, if you would have talked it up to like him being just a peer and a fighter, right? I don't think he would have had, it, it would sting as much. Mm -hmm. But when you come out, when you leave with, oh, this kid shouldn't be in here with me, blah, blah, blah. And then the kid is owning you for three rounds. Like it kind of, it, it really makes you look bad, you know? So, yeah. Huge. Um, I, th I hope that people are going to be a little bit more respectful to him, you know, because again, he said that, man, I know guys, man, you know, who him, like I've been knowing him since he was a kid, you know, when he, when he was training, like I said, when I was his sister coming up, I trained with guys when they were like 12, 13, you know, and they're, you know, these, these are guys now boarding their UFC is the next step for them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, this is a different generation, it's a different crop, and then you're gonna have outliers, you'll have anomalies out there too. You don't know what you'll get into. Not all 17 year olds are created equal, right? No, they're not, man. And then, and then, and then, and then when you talk about a kid who's like his base is grappling, like it's not like his base is striking, like if his base was striking, then maybe a little bit. But when it comes to grappling, the whole premise of jujitsu is to be the smaller guy to beat the bigger guy. Like that's the, the foundation of jujitsu. And then you just like, oh, I'm stronger than him. And you're like, what? I don't, that's not how this works. So yeah. now you know, I'm really excited for him. You know, congrats to him. Um, I, I don't know necessarily know if he's ready for what he thinks he's ready for, feels he's ready for. But if he's brought along properly, um maybe a little bit better than what they did with Sage Northcutt um back in the day. And I think I, I and I, to be honest with you, I feel that just given the climate of MMA, particularly in the UFC and, and the you know, get interested, you got a bunch of guys on the roster that are signing. Um, I think it's it's very uh it it, it makes sense for them to, to bring them bring them along the right way. Um yeah develop him in the UFC, so to speak. And I think it can be done, you know, because how many, what was this, fight number, what, four or five? No, five, right? I think. Something like that, yeah. No, six. He was five and oh. He was five and oh. So this is six more. So, like, he had six fights, right? Just, you know, as long as you don't, you don't, you don't throw him into a deep end, don't, don't give him fights he think he's ready for it just yet. You know what I'm saying? You got to give him fights y'all are ready, the UFC is ready for it, and I think it, it, it'll work out for him. But the UFC, man, they don't. I don't think they care, man. I think they're just like, hey, you, you want to take these fights? We'll give them to you. <sighs> yes and no. Like, I still feel that they're going to protect guys that need protecting, mm -hmm. in a way. Um, guys that don't necessarily need protecting and then just lose, like that's kind of on them. But when you got a kid that's running his mouth the way he's running his mouth. I mean, it's kind of like, dog, you don't really want to throw him out there like that, you know? Uh, who 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 did they do that? I think Chase Hooper was one. Um, you know, he ran his mouth. He was like, oh, I want whoever the fuck you want it. And then we got that got smashed a little bit. Yeah. Had to humble him a little bit. And that, again, not saying the kid's not good, but it's getting his levels to this, you yeah. know? So, uh, yeah, man, I, I hope, you know, I hope nothing, we wish nothing but the best for him. Yeah, I think he, he's the future of the sport. For sure, for sure. The future now for your future, October 15th, yeah. UFC fight night, Pete Rodriguez. You know, what comes to mind when you hear that? Man, this is going to be fun. You know, it, it, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be a better fight just on paper than the last one um, against cheating bitch ass Dean Barry. Um, but when I think of Pete, man, I think of a fucking warrior. Who's gonna he, he's gonna come 
he's gonna bring it. I know he's he's gonna he he has some hammers over there, but I feel I'm just overall better everywhere. Uh, I feel that I have the better striking. If he decides to grapple, I feel I'm gonna be better there. Uh, I'm gonna have the experience, mm -hmm. and, and I'm gonna have the size. You know, um, I, I just feel that I'm gonna be a little bit too much for him, and uh, it, it's gonna show. I don't, I don't, you know. He, and I didn't even say I'm a big 170. I'm not, but I fought at 55 before, and and he's five nine. Like he's a, he's a short. And I mean, I don't think he's like a super thick guy. You know, I think he can, with, with, especially at this. Because again, he's he's fairly new to the sport, right? Mm -hmm. He's he's pretty green himself. So once he 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 finds his footing and and can establish himself. You know, get with the nutritionist, and, and, and 55 may be may be the the weight for him. But at 170, I, I don't think he's big enough for this. You know, whether it's against me or whether it's against any other uh, legit 170ers. You know, but uh, no, nah, I feel I'm just gonna be a little bit too much for him. You know, on the 15th. Yeah, you mentioned the last fight. You know, Dean Barry, you returned after a few years of inactivity. You know, you mm -hmm. took two groin shots, two eye gouges. Not eye pokes, gouges. There's, there's right, yeah. totally, those are totally different things, right? And your eyes, man, they could have been seriously damaged. Was there any damage after the fight? No, actually, that was the first thing I went and got done. Uh, I went and got my, my eyes checked as soon as I got back home. Um, and, and everything was cool. I had an issue with my hand. That's actually why the fight is, is when it is. I think we were supposed to fight um, in September was initially they offered me to, for the fight. Um, but I hurt my hand that 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 hook that I caught him with mm -hmm. that really that 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 changed his life forever. That I caught him in the square in the fucking right side of the foul. I can see I can see it was like a red mark here, and then his eye. He was like, "Oh shit," because he never he never been hit that hard in his life. <laughs> and I, t I touched him. He was like, "That was just one punch." He's like, "Oh no, 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 no! I don't want this no more." Um. But, it, you know, it, it, it was one of those moments, man, it just sucked, you know, for me overall because he stole a moment from me, you know. And he I, – I was already – the game we, he was, the game plan was going to the T. He was doing everything I expected him to do. Um, it even made it a little bit easier for me. I didn't – so it was funny. I went back and watched the film, and I could hear DC on the commentary. And he was like, yo, why isn't he throwing the jab, right? And the, that was the game plan going in was to jab his face off, but he was running so much, <laughs> right? And then like he was like making these like big actions, these big dashing actions, to the point of him getting so tired. Like so, for me, for me to have to throw the jab to hit him with the jab, like I had to like, I got chased this dude because he was running so much, right? Even with me cutting him off, like he was still running, right? So I had to chase him a little bit. But then, like, he was doing these big guy and just missing. He he didn't hit me, like, at all to, like, the big shot, right? But he's – and then he's getting tired. Mm -hmm. So, in my mind, I was like, oh, shit, I don't have to do nothing. I can just let him keep doing this for a few more minutes at, 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 at least. And then he going to tire himself out, and then I go beat his ass, right? Mm -hmm. But he, get him, he himself getting tired. Him not being able to hit, like he's getting, he's tired, right, from trying to hit me. But then he's not hitting me, so that's frustrating me. Then I catch him, pop him in the eye, right? After the second nut shot, when he starts to hit me more, that even that, even that in itself is frustrating because he can't get me out of there. He hit me with two illegal shots. He catching me now. He's punching me. He's because before, before the second shot, he wasn't hitting me, right? Mm -hmm. After the next shot is when he starts laying his punches. But even then, like I'm still there. And he's like, "Shit, I can't get this dude out of here." Because he's he's so used to just getting people out of there real quick. Yeah. He used to hit his the fight before mine. He hit it. He barely hit the dude, and the guy fell. <laughs> and so you got a guy like me with my skill set. And it, it frustrated him to the point where he had to do some legal shit, mm. you know. But that also shows why he wasn't ready to be in that moment, why he wasn't ready for the UFC. 
everybody wants to be in the UFC. I get it. It's the shit. It's the thing to do. It's the pinnacle of the sport. But you have to know that you also have to be ready for that. Mm. You know, you can't just, it's just like you you just play back, you just play pickup games. And you're, ah, I'm going to play, I'm going to go to NBA trials. And he's like, what? Why? Or not even that. Like you, you go to, yeah, actually, I would. You'll see the NBA. You go to NBA trials. He's like, what? Yeah, and you, you're telling your boys, yo, I'm about to fucking go walk on to the Rockets. And they're looking at you like, what? And then it's like, yo, you see me giving buckets? And you're like, on the pickup game? He's like, yeah. And then you're like, but why would you think you can go compete with them? He's like, you see me, you see the moves. And that's the same situation. You got this kid on this on the regional level, and he's smoking mm-hmm. cats that he should be smoking. Like you just picking up babies and you smoking babies. <laughs> right? And so again, he gets to put this kid in that moment. He wasn't ready one bit. I exposed him. And before I could get him out of with my hands, you know, he took himself out by trying to rip my eye out. That should still suck, though. Like, ah, and it yeah. hurt too. Very, very bizarre, man, how that fight played out. And uh, it's almost like the worst outcome for you. You know what I mean? You yeah. you get an opportunity to show your, try to show your skill set, right? But it's not, you know, I, I, felt, I felt another minute. I just had to, I just had to just let him do his thing for like another minute. And then, and, and he was going to be so exhausted. Then I'm like, all right, now I can have some fun. I can paint this dude's face up. It, it was it was like it was hilarious because I could see it in his face, like especially after I connected, right? And then I saw like he had he, the look on his face was like fucking Michael Myers. He turned around, and Michael Myers is standing right there. He had just like look, right? And so after he's hit, him, and like it was funny, right? Because he's really like when he's trying to throw, he's he's throwing everything in these punches. And he's making these like he really was trying to hit me like ah, and at the end he was so tired he could, he was just couldn't he didn't have enough in it to even do that right. Fast forward to Instagram after he goes online and he was like, "Yo, Mike, quit," and he's like, "Wait, what?" And so that's why I call him a piece of shit mm-hmm. because in the moment you like, "Oh, I'm sorry." I didn't mean to. I'm not a cheater. You said all these things in the moment. And I kind of like, all right, whatever, cool. You're not a piece of shit. And you could have just took your L and just went off and did whatever. But then you go upon yourself and you was like, yeah, I'm going to go talk shit about this dude online. Why would you do that? To the point, someone, he didn't, and then that's the other thing. He don't even want to say it with it. Like, he didn't want to tag me. Like, if you want to say some shit uh, to me about me, like tag me. Somebody else has to say, yo, you see what he said? And I was like, wait, what? So then I go check it, and then he deleted his whole thing. I was like, yo, you, you said some crazy shit, and then you can't even own up to it. So you cheated because you was frustr- frustrating the fight. Then you like, instead of like owning your, your, your fuckery, just be a man. Like you cheated. You did some dirty shit. And as opposed to just owning like a man, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, he quit. What? Like, no, 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 no. You don't get to do that. You you don't, you don't, you as a as a as a fighter, as a you you talking about this kid's talking, about, I'm gonna be the, the champion. You can't say he's gonna be the champion, but then also like I, I did some fuckery, but he quit. No, you can't you can't be both. That's not that's not championship behavior. You know what I'm saying? So fuck him. And he'll never be back in the UFC. He the first he gets a he gets a fight like a few weeks after, you know, at 55. You know, I, I told him because he's we ran to the PI and he said, oh, I'm going to 45. And I looked at him. I was like, maybe 55. No, I'm going to 45. And I'm in my mind, I'm like, yo, you're a chunky monkey. I don't think you're gonna make 45. So then he goes away is and he can't make 55. And he damn near kills him. He damn near uh damages his kidneys because he, he's a, he's a he's a he cut weight improperly. So you know he's not a professional fighter. It's really a bit. So fuck him. But he he's trying to be play professional fighter, but then when real shit happened, 
he trying to place the blame. And then when I talk shit, like he say I quit, right? So I was like, you, you, that's fair. Now it's fair game. Like you can't talk shit to somebody online and then expect me to not say nothing. I know it's open season. So yeah, I fuck with him. I said some shit about his weight cut. And then I, but then, you know, when I talk shit about it, I'm going to tag you. I don't want you to not know I'm talking shit about you. Why, why would I talk shit for everybody else to see and not the person I'm talking shit to? So I tag him in it. He don't mess me back. Like, dog, I could have died. So no one told you to go cut weight. No one told you to be a fucking Chucky monkey. <laughs> so no, like he's a, he's an asshole. Um, and he'll never, be, and I feel he just, he'll, he'll never be back in the UFC. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he's gone, right? He, they cut him and you know, one and done basically for one him. And, and so I think for that's you, gonna be my new thing, man. Yeah, I think that's gonna be my new thing. And yeah, we're gonna get P. Rodriguez out here. But see, I ain't got no issues with him. I think he's a warrior, man. Uh I respect him. Um, but it but it's gonna be fun. And I again I, I just have a, a set of skills, man, that 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 makes for a fun night. Just yeah, better, we gotta yeah, taste styles make, styles make fights too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we got a taste of uh Rodriguez, man, when he jumped in short notice against Jack Della, man. The dude is a gunslinger, like standing yeah. at that distance and, and trade with you and uh take some shots to land some shots, which makes this fight with your striking background a lot of fun. Yeah, man, and that's the thing. Like he he's gonna take the strikes to get the strikes, but I'm not gonna be there for him to get the strikes. So <laughs> Okay, that's good. and that's why it's gonna be so much fun. Like we gonna see some really cool shit, man. Um, things that I didn't get to work on or I didn't get to show in the Dean Bear because he ran the whole time. And this one, um, I've added even more. I added a little bit more to the toolbox, so I think we gonna we gonna see some more. Uh, we gonna see some fun shit. Is this uh the last fight for you on the contract? Or do you no, have I have one more. On, I have one oh, more. Okay. All yeah. Right, yeah. All right. This is yeah. This, the, the punk. I was a punk under the punk contract. All right. Um, all right. So Gall was one contract, and then the punk was another contract. So no, I got uh, the two. So this one and one more. Man, you've outlasted so many fighters. Like yeah. Mickey Gall, is not even with the UFC anymore. <laughs> Dude, I'm like I'm the I'm an anomaly in this in the in it. But you I, are. you know, Seriously. I. I I've always done it. Like, I've always just, I created my own lane from the beginning, 2008, when I started in this, man. I just made this shit up. I just made, I just did some shit and just ran with it. And then now we're here. And even then, like, I laugh at that. Like, even, even that, you know, because again, like, I, I'm, I, ha I have a set of skills and I'm good at something. And why not do it at a level that you can compete at? You know what I'm saying? I get to train with these guys on the on. Like I, I, I'm training since I've literally been training since 2008. Right? I've just been doing, you know, whether I'm fighting or not. But I've been I've been learning, getting better. I get to go to high low, and I'm not just training like at a, you know some regular ass gym. I get to train at world class gyms. I get to learn from the best coaches, coaches that are getting like coach of the gear. You know, even at home at my gym itself is a world champion gym. You know what I'm saying? So I get to learn and I get to train with you know, top 10 guys, you know what I'm saying? So for people, just because I don't compete, that is, I got other shit I'm doing. Yeah. But that don't mean I can't do this, you know? I don't feel, like, for me, I'm logical. I know what the, I know what the dangers are in this shit, you know? Uh, I don't feel that I would jeopardize my health, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I know that, I, that shit can happen, you're right, but I also feel that with my set of skills that I have in my skill set or, or my skill set and, and things that I possess, it out, those outweigh the risks in this aspect. Again, I know what levels I'm fighting at, right? I'm fighting at a level that, that I'm comfortable with. Like I'm on the video game and I'm just cruising through, through the seasons, regular shit. I'm not playing on all-star mode or nothing. No, for what? I don't have to. Yeah. I'm, just chill, I'm just chilling on rookie mode, just killing it, collecting chess. <laughs> that's not a bad position to be in to be honest with you um yeah so what do you envision for this fight man against pete rodriguez i feel like it's gonna be hot from the start dude like right with the no, it, it, it is it is you know i i, I feel i can get him out of there in the second round just because that's my style that's my vibe you know 
uh, you know, from Houston, you know, from the city of Serb. You know, we slow out and banging out here, you know what I'm saying? So I like to slow cook people a little mm-hmm. bit, you know, but it's all on what, he, what the guy gives me. If he's coming out guns blazing, then shit. Like Dean Bear, I got to get him out in the first. You know what I'm saying? If he, if he going to get him, like, if he going to help me out. But if if I'm dictating the pace of it, it's just going to be a slow, little slow burn. You know, I like to let my shit simmer a little bit. Yeah. You know, um, but I, I feel that he he's going to be, like I say, he's a warrior, man. Uh, he's going to be tough and he's going to be able to take these shots. Like, I don't think I, I, I'm not going to say I'm going to go out here and just like one hit or just because mm-hmm. I felt like, again, Dean Barry, I could have got him out here with one right hand. Mm-hmm. He just, he just, ah, he just didn't give me the opportunity to. I popped it with that left. And like I said, I, was, I, I changed his life with that left. That left changed his life. He, he thought he was doing all that dancing. She was running and shit. I didn't call it dance. He was running. You know, like running shit, and then he tried something. And I caught his ass. Pow! He's like, "Oh, this is this is what it feels like to get hit by like a fucking hitter," mm-hmm. and that changes life forever. You know, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bring a lot of those for Pete. Yeah. You know, That's I don't I don't feel it's gonna be. You know, I don't think I'm gonna catch him with a shot and then hit him with other shit like Dean did. I'm gonna catch him with a shot. And he gonna keep coming. You know what I'm saying? And, and so. I'm excited. You know, he's going to be like a little ball of fire, you know? I'm yes. Ready it's going to be fun, man. You know, you said you're going to slow cook. Texas is known for their barbecue, so Ooh. might be seeing it's, some barbecue, right? It's good, baby. You know, I love my <laughs> pasta or taco, man. Taco place, baby. Let's go. All right, man. October 15th, UFC Fight Night back in Las Vegas. Mike Jackson, thank you, man, so much for the time. It's always good catching up. Appreciate you, my mom.